Hello, welcome. Today we will take a look at OBD11's free plan. A lot of people on the internet in the discussions says that it is not fair that OBD11 will charge money for subscription and then again for the credits. But not everyone knows that there is free version of OBD11 app. You just need to buy OBD11 adapter and you can use it completely for free without paying any subscriptions. And the app is fairly advanced for diagnosing. Most of coding features are missing from the free plan, but you you have every diagnostic feature so let me plug in the device and we will take a look at what the free plan can actually do okay so i connected my adapter let's open the app Here is the free plan it is called basic vac we can go ahead and do full scan of vehicle now we are performing a full scan which means that the obd11 will go through all control units and find fault codes from all of these units that are in car in this case for this audi a3 there are 15 control units which we can scan now already this full scan if you buy generic obd2 adapter for 50 or 60 dollars which is the price of obd11 on most of these tools under 50 dollars you will not have access to every single control module in car it will only scan the engine obd11's free plan can do a full scan and scan every of these control units see on the bottom it will tell you which control unit is being scanned currently it is passenger door and that is the 14th control unit out of 15 now scan is not that fast i think it took like five minutes minutes but at least you are sure that obd11 will pull out the codes from all units okay and we are done it says two faulty control units so out of those 15 control units there are two units that have one or multiple faults start we can check those now we can see that we have fault in immobilizer and driver's door so you can go ahead and check those faults immobilizer control module faulty which i am not very happy about but whatever maybe it is just some wiring issue but the key works the the car starts so i don't know why do i have this fault and it says status static which means that i won't be able to erase this code because the fault is ongoing and code cannot be erased because it would be just stored again right away next fault is in driver door and it says motor for window lift driver side no or incorrect basic settings adaptation and i know there is something wrong with my window lifter and i probably also won't be able to erase this fault i can try but yes it cannot be erased now you have even this google button which will take this code to your google search you can go through these results and read more about the codes you are getting to get some suggestions on how to continue okay let me go back if these codes could be erased like most of the codes you would just hold this button which try clearing defaults but these faults cannot be erased so it will just stay like this okay what you can do next is also go to full vehicle live data by opening control units i want to go to engine because i have also code po420 which is very common fault code i just erased it but it will come back very soon and it is code for catalytic converters low efficiency which in most cases means that your catalytic converter needs to be replaced and i want to look at those oxygen sensors live data which will give me some more insights about this fault so i can go to this live data i cannot reach my optimal coolant temperature so that might to that might have something to do with this okay the radiator temperature says 88 celsius as well which should be fine is displaying little less on the dashboard that will be probably just the instrument cluster error you can also check the engine misfire which would tell you which cylinder is misfiring and now we can see that we have misfire in cylinder number one here is the cylinder number four which has zero misfires as well as cylinder number three and two there is some kind of misfire happening in cylinder number one maybe there is just some worn out spark plug but i want to solve this catalytic converter issue let me check lambda sensor voltages now we have sensor one before catalytic converter the ideal value would be around one this fluctuating a little bit but it seems fine to me going up and down up and down but still stays very close to specified range here we have sensor 2 voltage and the range is from 0 to 1 volt and i think that th these data are not completely normal i think that the sensor 2 should be more stable and could fluctuate a little but not that high because it goes anywhere from 0.1 to 0.7 and it is looking very similar to how should oxygen sensor 1 operate so maybe the catalytic converter is faulty after all also you can access 
live data in every single control unit. So you can go to breaks, look at live data. And it is normal to see warnings like this when you enter ABS control unit. So don't worry when it starts beeping like this. We can also take a look at, for example, the radio, live data. Not much data here, but you can go through all of these control modules and read live data in each of them, which can be used not just for diagnosing faults in all systems, but you can, for example, also verify if the mileage of your car wasn't clocked. Now, it doesn't work for every car, but a lot of VAG vehicles, especially the newer ones, will store multiple distance data in multiple control modules. So you can just go through them one by one and verify the mileage in multiple control modules. And often you can find some evidence of mileage frauds. I already have video about that and I discovered the car that was clocked from more than 400,000 kilometers to 260. I will put a link somewhere up here if you want to watch it. So far with a free plan we can do full scan we can scan all modules for fault codes and we can also read the live data from all of those control modules just this full live data i can challenge you right now go to amazon aliexpress wherever you want take the money you would pay for obd11 adapter which is around 60 dollars and find diagnostic tool for 60 dollars that can display the live data from all control modules i am very positive that, that you wouldn't find any because features like full live data are available in more advanced Bluetooth scanners. For example, for example, this ThinkDiac 2, which would be able to read all of this live data, but it costs $180, and you have to also continue paying subscription after first year, which is $80. Now the free OBD11 plan isn't looking that bad, is it? Now, and there are also other features you can do when you enter, when you select any control unit, for example, this passenger doors, you have all these options. Besides information, faults and live data, which we already work with, you can also do an output test. Those are also called active test, component tests, bidirectional tests. You can take any component in your car that is powered by electricity and simply test it with commands from your scan tool. Scanners that have bidirectional functions usually cost around $500 and more. Or when you take the Bluetooth scanners, the ThinkDiac, Two is one of the very few Bluetooth scanners that have this function, but again it costs 180 plus subscription. You have bidirectional function here in the free plan. See, now it is testing all components in the doors. Now for the doors, bidirectional function is pretty useless because you can simply just see if the lights work. You don't need scan tool to test windows lifter or central locking. You can simply test it without scan tool, but you can also test other car components, for example the engine cooling fan. If you want to test your engine cooling fan, you would just have to drive the car for 20 minutes or connect it to external power supply, which cannot be easy depending on how easy is it to get to engine cooling fan. or you. Can can just simply command it from your scan tool. So if I go to car control units, engine output tests, here you can test all the solenoids, valves, relays, or engine cooling fan. See? Now the engine is turned on. And I know that it works. So the free OBD11 plan will give you a very powerful diagnostic tool. And if you drive VAG vehicle, Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda or Seat, I think that spending those 50-60 dollars on OBD11's adapter is very good investment in your car's health. And if you want to code some features, you can also do that by going to this car, apps, and now you have these one-click applications, which you can use to make change to your car. But they will cost the credits, and credits can be bought with real money. Most of these applications cost 10 credits, and I think that 100 credits cost around $18. So you don't need to pay. If you hate paying subscriptions, you can just buy 100 of these credits. You can do all of the modification that you want, and you will just keep the adapter and continue to use this free plan which contains every diagnostic feature you are missing only some coding and adaptations features from pro plan but you are not paying any subscription so it is definitely very good option